Thank you for tuning in to Rayleigh's Small Engines today. We're working on a steel FS90R and I'm going to show you what it's doing. Uh, this thing is leaking gas. When I do the primer ball, if you look right in here, you're going to see gas coming out of the edge, out of the um, where the choke is on the carburetor. Now watch, I'm going to prime it. You'll see it run down. See it dripping? It's just running out. Well, let's get this carburetor off here and I'll show you how to fix it. All right, folks, let's see if we can get this carburetor off. A couple of eight millimeters. There is a hose right back here. The breather. Sometimes it pulls off back there. It's just tank breather is what it is. Now on these, we're gonna have to remove this cover. I find it's the easiest way to uh, do that. Still, 90% of what you do on a steel is a T27. Got two screws in the front here and then one on the back. No need to worry about mixing them up. They're all the same size in that part. All right, that's out of the way. Now we have to release this fuel line. Now just hold the throttle open. It's easy to do, guys. So no point in moving the camera for that. Then we're going to scoop this thing back. And I'll break these lines loose a little bit. A lot of times they'll be stuck on there. I loosen my gas cap to let pressure off, otherwise you'll have gas everywhere. Okay, there's your carburetor. Let's go to the bench and see what's wrong with it. Let me reposition you guys. Alright. Let's see if I'm getting my port. All I did, I took some brake cleaner, sprayed it, and blowed it off get some of this dirt out of the way. I knew y'all want to see another carburetor clean, didn't you? Y'all can't hear that, but I can feel that. If this is sticky, sticking, and it's staying down with pressure on this lever, then your needle won't seat correctly, okay? Now maybe there's trash in here or something, I don't know yet. Uh, wall burrs, amber, don't matter. Straight edge, you want this to where it's just touching the level on this particular carburetor so it doesn't matter which tool you use there. Any kind of straight edge will work there. So let's dig a little deeper. Let's go see what the little screen looks like. Let's see if I can show you this screen is cockeyed in here, which is probably the screen is right in here. If I can get it to focus. I'm trying, bear with me. You can see it is not in there correctly. sticking out there so that would allow trash to get by all right before I disturb anything let me go back to the bench here Let's see if I see any trash in this 
I don't see trash, but it is bent. So dirt could have gotten by there. Let's take this needle and seat loose. Hold your finger over that lever so it doesn't go flying across the room. I really don't see any dirt on this needle. Whoop, about to drop it on the floor, y'all. back flush through here. Make sure that's nice and clean. When you're doing these little carburetors, be very careful. These little check valves in here, you can damage them with high air pressure. So I'll, I'll you know, I'll spray stuff off and then when you get on, I just lightly, lightly blow them. Because if you mess with those little check valves in there, uh, you're done. There's no going back at that point. Let's see if I see anything down inside. Looks nice and clean. I'm going to spray it one more time. Other direction. And that just sprayed right in my face. See, everybody loses parts. So I done lost my little spring. Did y'all see it go somewhere? Well, maybe I'm gonna have to stop the video and go find my spring. It might be on the floor under my feet. You never know. You never know. I'll get back with you in about three hours when I find it. <laughs> All right, stand by. Let me see if I can find my spring. Well, I found it. Do you know what I did? If you look back the film up a little bit, this spring was laying right here. When I blew the carburetor off, it blew it right across here and on the floor. The way I found it is I backed up my video and watched it again to see what direction it went. So. I found it. All right, so I'm gonna try and get this back in here. These usually take me about 14 tries till I get it right. Got my needle hooked in my lever, dropped my spring in. It's called Fat Finger doing it. Somebody's probably got a better way of doing this. I know you can't see what I'm doing. You just, sorry, you just have to fiddle with it. Let's see if it's gonna be in the right place. Yeah, got it back in there. First shot out the gate. That's not normal for me. Usually it takes a few times. double check that we're still straight here like I said get something on camera any straight edge will do you'll be fine I think I'm gonna put a new one of these in uh, do I have one sitting here handy why yes I do that looks like him Now, do I have a gasket? That I don't know. Pay particular attention when you replace these. Some of these don't have much of a thing, tab, whatever, hanging off of them that actually sits on the lever. And some of them, that, that tab is up taller. So make sure it matches what you took out is one easy way to do it. Or you could go look it up if you had to. So let's see if I get lucky and this come off of this gasket. 
Well, looky there. All right. Now, there's your other hole right there on the edge. You'll be able to see. We'll line that up. This gasket has absolutely no damage to it. But your gasket goes first and then this. And line those up. Okay. Everything looks pretty clean here. And when you put these screws back in, just very careful to make sure you get it through the, don't move your gaskets or pinch your gasket and diaphragm. And once you get the first two, it's downhill after that. why I keep my screwdrivers magnetized. Don't, you ain't got to crank these down super, super tight, y'all. Hope y'all can hear me okay over that fan back there. Now, let's get this screen straightened out. It looks clean. I'm just kind of folding it back out toward being flat. And then I'll put it in the hole with this little screwdriver. It was right in there. That doesn't look good. Let's get a new one of those too. Can y'all even see what I'm doing? Let's see. I guess you can. Guess it's part of it, huh? Got a few different size screens in here. This is a wall broke kit. Screens are pretty much interchangeable. That's way too tiny. Maybe I don't have one. That size. There should be three different sizes in here. Y'all bear with me. That was a Welch plug. Another Welch plug. Let's look on the picture, see where the screens are. Welch plug, Welch plug. Eighty-one twenty-one, eighty-one twenty-two. Y'all bear with me. Sometimes it takes a minute. That screen's way too small. More little parts. That isn't even going in that hole, y'all. I don't have a Zama one. So, is this a, let's see one Q. All right, let's try and straighten this again. People's over there going, click the fast forward, click the fast forward. I don't want to watch him sitting there and fiddle with this. Well, that's what it takes sometimes. I think I got it flattened out pretty good this time. Well, I can get it in there straight. Somebody's probably got a better way of doing this. There's a lot of smart people out there come up with all kind of tricks and 
You just never know. Got to hold your mouth right, get it in there correctly. Look at there. Nope. I'm going to win. You watch. Y'all going to be bored of tears by the time I win. But Oh, crap. See? All right. Yep, there it is. Supposed to be a professional here working with stuff, right? She goes, bloop, bloop, bloop. All done, put together. Uh oh, now we're talking. Let's try this little screwdriver. Now I got it in there right. We gotta clean some of this mess up. That still looks good. Just clean up little parts off to the side here, guys. That's all. Nothing spectacular. So you're not missing anything. That actually still looks very dang good to me. Really, really good. Somebody's going to say, you missed a step or 12. Yeah, maybe. Does anybody know how this goes? Just like that. like that and that goes there this goes here Doofus. Just like that. Okay. I know y'all were holding your breath hoping it didn't fall apart, weren't you? Hope y'all can hear me okay. I got this wireless mic on. I don't know if it's cutting down on much fan noise or not. Fan is going, it's raining outside. It's a, it feels pretty decent though. Now, I wonder if we get it fixed. It's throwing up. Look at it. It's spitting up. All right, I'm gonna pause you a second and move the camera and then we see if we can get it back on there and see if it's gonna leak. All right, let's see. I'm just going to hook the hoses up and do the primy ball. Look at there, no leak. Awesome. We must have fixed it. Maybe. What you guys think? My customer brought me this. I have not even pulled the cord. I haven't tried to start it. I haven't done anything. So, what we're going to do is hook this bad boy up. Now, this hose, you have to kind of line up down here on the bottom of the carburetor. 
I'm trying not to get my big old head in your way. See if I can look under this side. There it goes. Let me just open the throttle. Push that through there. And your throttle just gotta put it back through the holder. There we go. So go up the fuel line. If y'all will stand by, I'm going to stop for a second. And while I'm into this machine, I'm going to do a separate little video on how to adjust the valves on one of these. Or the technique that I use. It is not the way the book calls for it. So I'm going to do a separate little video. So y'all be sure to tune into that. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm going to put a little link to it up top. Okay. Let's put this thing back together. Everybody's got a different way of doing things. This is just how I do it. I don't know if you're right or not. But the way I do things, it works. It works for me. Slide that cover down on there. Oh, you go strip out, strip out. No, I'm not. But I'm not going to sit there and go hammering on it with it either. Just a little bit. That's all you need. That's it. And one more back here. Get it on the screw. A little bump. Now, if you don't do this every day, I would recommend using a ratchet and uh, socket, and that way you know how tight you got to get it. Pop that up there, and see. I go ahead and stick these nuts in the gun. Now you can do this in the in the socket, and then just twist it by hand to start them. I've just done enough of this. I know exactly how much to pull that gun. So, just use a ratchet. Hey, let's put the spark plug boat back on. Y'all see if it'll run? Let's see if it'll run. Does that choke? I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Guess what, guys? Don't want to run, does it? Let's be sure we got good sparkage. I've got a little jig over here I use it on here then I'm gonna go back here to the muffler clamp back there and there's my ground I can watch for spark we have no spark folks let's put some sparkage tester on it maybe we got a bad coil maybe we've got a bad spark plug we are about to find out Houston We got no sparkage. Why I got sparkage? Hmm. All right, next step, quick diagnosis of coil. I'll show you how to do that too. We're gonna see if the coil is bad or not. I'm gonna show you how to do it since you're here. Y'all already been sitting here this long.
Oop. A little wire there. All right, first thing I'm going to do, these wires right here, I'm going to disconnect them. Actually, I ain't got to disconnect the blue one. That goes to the, that's your ground right there, okay? So what we're going to do is disconnect this other wire. Okay. Now let's put our spark tester back on and see do we have spark. If we have spark, we've got a wire pinched or grounded or something. If we don't have spark, I mean, if we don't have spark now, we have a bad coil. So, I'm gonna hook my ground back up. Let's hook it anywhere. Right on top of that screw, that's good. Look at there, got spark. Can y'all see that? All right, let's hook this wire up. See, no spark. So problem is up here in this switch or either these wires are pinched somewhere. Easy peasy Japanese guys. Just things happen sometimes. Now what I'm gonna do Take this apart, and that apart. These two must be, it's probably going to be in the switch, I'd imagine. Let's get a voltmeter. Let's check it out. Set your voltmeter. That's your ohm symbol. And you touch these two together and tells you you have continuity so plug this up well let's see if I can get it to stay in one of these doesn't matter which way you hook them up it just makes no difference but look at there got continuity between the two so let's play with the switch and see staying grounded out so that tells me these wires don't look damaged here I don't see anywhere they're pinched so take the trigger apart y'all stand by one of the cases is not P27 let's step back to a T20. There it is. Hmm. There's pieces parts in there, folks. Now I just took these four screws out these other two screws that are in here that just clamps this trigger assembly to the shaft there so take note in your mind how this cable this rattle cable hooks over this spring for your trigger spring and we're just going to lift this out always make sure to let it fly across the shop so you got to go spend 30 minutes hunting it okay that's what you always must do Slide that out of the way. What I'm doing is digging in here to get to this thing here. And there's your other spring. And all this gonna do is hook in up under there. So, is it our switch bad? I don't know. Do you own there? Let's get our voltage meter again. Set it on homage. It's 
Still got continuity there. Still got continuity. <clears throat> okay, guys, I lost a little bit of footage here, but in there, that switch where I had this apart, all it does is lift out, and it is permanently attached to this harness that runs up through here. And all I did, I just, I, uh, I'm just going to leave this unplugged and run it just so that you guys can see that it does run. Now with that disconnected, uh, it will fire right up. So anyhow, let's crank her up. And all I did to kill it was ground across there. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. Appreciate everybody looking. Leave a comment if you like, guys. Y'all have a great day.